Hi guys. So we're out in Crossabeg and uh, this is the local church. And just have a look at all the lights up. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we're making our way to the very back of the church to show you a grave. And it's the grave of Father Dixon. And when we get there, I'll read what's wrote at his burial site. You can just here on the wall here again we have some more signs pointing us into the area. Father Dixon's grave. And if we follow the path up along you can see this huge beautiful cross. Now the weather is not great and I don't know whether a torch will help but it is beautiful cross nonetheless. We'll try and zoom in a little bit. You can see that it's the crucifixion of Jesus Christ above him is a dove. It has really really beautiful carvings the whole way down. And just here at the bottom it reads, This cross was erected in July 1917 by George Barry Slaney Lodge in memory of his godfather, Reverend James Dixon, P.P. Crossabeg, who died the 4th of January 1840, and of his uncle, Reverend William Furlong, P.P. Crossabeg, died the 13th of December 1868. And it reads, Father Dixon, was one of the famous convict priests. He was unjustly transported to Botany Bay in the year 1799 during his nine years of exile. Despite his own terrible sufferings, he laboured indefectibly for the salvation of the souls of his outlawed countrymen. It was his privilege to be one of the first three priests who celebrated Mass on Australian soil and to rank as first Prefect Apostolic appointed by the Holy See to New Conley. Wow. R.I.P. Rest in peace. That is quite amazing. I'm going to try and turn on maybe some sort of flash out of the, the phone camera itself. Absolutely gorgeous. So for any of our subscribers from Australia, that is a beautiful tribute to Reverend James Dixon. And just here to the right, 1803 to 2003, unveiled by Dr. David Gremen, or Kremen I think it is, Bishop of Sydney, Australia on the 15th of May 2003 on the occasion of the bicentenary of Father James Dixon's first public mass on Australian soil. By special permission of the Most Reverend Dr Brown, Bishop of the Diocese, the adjoining cemetery was solemnly blessed by Reverend M. Murphy C.C. Crossabeg in the month of December 1913. And on that occasion, the remains of the six priests buried in the old church were benevolently removed and reinterred here. The names of the four not in the not in their the name of the four not in tiered maybe. Very hard to read are Reverend Nicholas Furlong, Reverend John Barry, and Reverend John Keating, all parish priests in Crossabeg at different times, and Reverend John Codd. So just more information there at the side, it's quite hard to read, and then nothing here.
What a beautiful, beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful cross. And it's unfortunate that with the weather that we have at the moment, I can't really show you properly just how amazing the designs are on this gorgeous cross. And as I said, this sits behind the church here. And just all along here then, we have um, names of reverends that we mentioned already at the side of the cross. So, with that being said, take care and God bless.